Hi everybody, welcome to Wild Body Movement. I'm Will Robinson and today I'm going to be going through an exercise that's more to do with your perceptions than your movements, but it's about how we use our eyes and our visual sense and how that affects us in our mental state. So, most of the time uh, we are using what you might call like a focused mode of attention uh, and particularly with our eyes today we're reading a lot uh, you're sort of focused on a particular task at hand and this is it's a really powerful and useful way of using your attention but over time you can overuse it and it gets a bit fatigued and the difference that it was explained to me in is when if you watch sort of the difference between a, a cat hunting and then a cat when it's just laying around in the sun uh, doing nothing when it's hunting it's got this sort of pinpoint focus and it's really alert and aware and everything like that but alert and aware to a very small thing that's going on when a cat's hunting it's much easier to sneak up on it uh, than it is uh, when it's just lying around because when you're in that sort of really focused sense you're very alert and aware of what's going on there but you tend to block it out everything else that's going on around you the difference is when the cat's in that sort of resting relaxed state its senses are opened up and it's taking everything in a lot more and not so focused on details about this that or the other but it's you know just open and receptive to everything that's going on so we as humans these days tend to spend all of our time in the focused pinpoint sense rather than this more open sort of thing even when we are relaxing we tend to relax like I say with a book or watching TV or doing something like that that still requires that same focused attention and although it's taking the focus away from other things that we consider work and doing that there's rarely times that we just sort of uh, relax focus on kind of nothing and just uh, just hang out and not really focused on anything um, even with meditation and that sort of thing the focus is often to begin with when people are learning to meditate they sort of their focus they're still using that pinpoint focus and that's why it gets can be really really frustrating just trying to focus really hard on a, an abstract concept or something that is is not intrinsically uh, captivating so what we're going to look at just now is the different couple of different ways in the way that you can use that your visual sense and how working on that to expand that then opens up all of your other senses and helps you get into that sort of relaxed just chilling out open state that has loads of benefits for just generally relaxation in your mood uh, and also things like uh, recovery from exercise and that sort of thing so what you're going to do to start with is just hold your hands out in front of you like this and look uh, you can pick a finger to kind of to look at and so as you're looking at there you'll notice that when you're focused on one finger you can't the other finger is in, in less detail it's blurry and, and not picked up in so much detail so then from there I want you to just focus in between your fingers and open your fingers up and wiggle them out like that and as your arms get wider and wider, so you can still see your fingers wiggling. Still try and see them in the edges of your vision. And go to the very point where you can no longer see them wiggling at all. Obviously the detail with which you can see them, particularly who will have decreased a lot when they're all the way out here. But you can still make out where they are. And that shows the whole range of your field of vision. Like it's, it's pretty big, it's all the way kind of out here um, that you can still see stuff moving. And when you're using that and tuned into that, it helps 
your brain slip into what's called a uh, an alpha state, which there's loads of research on brain waves and that sort of thing, and I don't really think it's necessary to, to get it into that. Um, the, what's good to know is that when you're out there and sort of open and alert and aware, it helps your, your nervous system feel safe because it feels like it's got a good picture and a good view of what's going on and it's not as energy, uh, as, doesn't use as much energy as it does to hold a pinpoint focus. So you can try this exercise in the middle of doing a, a, a piece of work where you really need to be pinpoint focused. Just when you've got a break for a couple of minutes, just try that and try and open out your field of vision to take in everything that's going on around you. Um, it's definitely it's best to do it in like a nice outdoor space if you've got access to that, because that helps your body tune into the natural patterns that it would be it, that it has evolved to, to cope with. Then you can also just do the same thing going the other way, like this, and this sort of visual field. What's kind of fun with this way, it's quite a bit smaller, you see, but if you pull like a surprised face, you'll notice that you can uh, see a little bit more, your field of vision expands. And that makes sense, because if you're sort of, uh, if you've been startled by something, you're surprised by something, then your, the, the natural response is something that helps you take in more information, that opens up your field of vision to include more things. So yeah. Those are just a couple of uh, little things that you can do to uh, explore the way that you use your sense of sight and I really hope you have fun with that. And thank you for checking out Wild Body Movement and let me know anything that you find or uh, that you experience through trying out these exercises in the comments below. Thank you very much.